No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we are to blame for ignoring his silent calls for help. We lost him to violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. Will this speech ever end? Shut the fuck up. I don't even know who this Aragaki guy was. I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. Anyway, I gotta get home. I have to study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who Aragaki is? Wait, you're not seniors, so how would you know? Anyway, can you believe this? Scary, huh? Shut up. Damn, what's your problem? Shut up. <sighs> huh? What are you doing? I said shut up! Iori, sit down. I'll never hear the end of this. <laughs> Just ignore them, Junpei. Hey, have you seen Akihiko Senpai today? No. He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. Can I talk to you for a moment? When you get back today, please meet me in the lounge. You know what it's regarding. Yeah. I don't expect you to have collected your thoughts. In fact, I'm still at a loss myself. I'll see you then. It's about Ken, huh? <sighs> this will be a fun meeting. Yo. I had the usual for lunch. Ramen tastes a lot better when you're cutting class. Make sure you invite me next time. <sighs> Say something, will ya? Why are you always like that? You're so stubborn. Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around, huh? I guess you're right. I was too obsessed with power. Ever since I lost Miki, that's all I've cared about. I thought that if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone. But I was wrong. And now you're gone too. I'm such an idiot. In battle, there's always a chance of dying. I knew that. But I was so focused on fighting that I didn't notice anything else. It didn't matter how tough I was. Look what happened!
<laughs> yeah, I know. Crying won't change anything, will it? All right, Shinji. You watch from there with Miki. I still have things to do, right? guilt forever. I'm getting tired of it. You guys, I'm... I'm gonna need a minute. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I just need a little bit of time to recover a little bit. I'm recording this straight after the previous episode. And I do want to say I'm going to go through today what we're doing after school. As odd as it is, we do actually end up spending time with the, with the social link as we typically would. But after that, I'm going to end off my recording session for tonight and, and pick up um, in a, possibly in a couple days because I have work in the morning. Unfortunately though, we don't have a persona for what we need to do today. So I'll meet you guys after I actually grab one. So I've decided to fuse my Ganga and my Yatagarasu in order to get Nandi of the Star Arcana, which gives away who we're going to be spending today with, Mamaru. Alright, here we are. Mamaru, it's been a while. Hopefully you can raise my spirits a bit. Yeah, I'd love to grab some chow. And we do have Nandi. I don't believe Nandi is actually required. Yeah, we don't actually need a matching persona this time. So, yeah. Just in case, though, I'd like to have one because we're going to be spending a fair amount of time with him this, uh, from now on. This is where we always went, or I was going to say go with, uh... Sorry, computer's freaking out, it's starting to bother me. This is where we usually go with Kenji, but I guess we're done doing that now. I guess this is going to be our hangout spot with Mamoru. Oh. Really? That's really nice of them. Hmm. I'm sure you will. I mean, you've definitely got a future, to, future in sports, no doubt about that. No problem, right? This is the correct thing to say, right? That is true. Biggest rival? In the words of my friend Akihiko, it's training is like a game, but I'm playing against myself and always trying to win. I like that. I'm looking forward to spending more time with Mamoru. As it is, we only barely just met him at the track meet and spent one day with him where we had an eating contest. We still got a lot to learn about him. But one thing's for sure, he may be the one person who is more motivated than Kaz is. But, I'm not so sure. Yeah, see you later, Mamoru.
Right. You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amada. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess bring Amada here. Understood. It's my fault. Fuga, don't blame yourself. When Shinjiro Senpai told me he'd be late, I thought it was strange, but I said nothing. We all thought it was strange. If only I'd listened to my intuition. Don't be so hard on yourself, Fuka. It's not your fault. If anyone should have realized it, it should have been me. I knew this wasn't a game, but I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. As we know, Akihiko's made his peace with it. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. He even faced death head on. That's why from this day forward, I'll face things head on too. That's cool, man. Senpai. Mm. Allow me to report. Amada-san is not in his room. He's not? There are indications that the window has been pried open. Ken-kun! Wait, Fuka, do you know where he is? Well, no. But we can't just let him go off on his own, right? I'm with Fuka on this one. We need to find him. So, where do you plan on looking? I don't know, but we have to find him. Well, there are, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight of us, about? He must feel so alone. Yeah, we can fi we can split up and try to find him. Fuka. You of all people should understand. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Now let Ken do what he wants. Bringing him back won't change anything. And we can't keep treating him like a kid. Akihiko. It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how he's gonna live his life. The same goes for all of us. Now, I want to take this time just before I go, because again, in about 30 seconds, or probably longer than that since I have something to say first, Better like three seconds after I go, you're, it's going to be me a couple days from now, but I do need to go because I'm already not getting enough sleep tonight. Either way though, what I wanted to talk about is, well, Akihiko's persona change. This is the first time we've seen that with anyone other than the protagonist, but in his case, he can't swap back and forth. His previous persona, Polydeuces, I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, that persona is no more. It has been replaced entirely with Caesar. Now, a couple of notes that I wanted to point out. Polydeuces, in mythology, actually did have a brother. Now his... let's see. Sorry, I... I had this all prepared and now I'm forgetting all the details. Sorry, one moment. Alright. Polydeuces is half of the Gemini constellation, with the other half being Castor, who is Shinjiro's persona. Now, I'm not an expert on this type of mythology, so I'm going based on what I've read. Apparently, they were both great warriors, both striving to become strong. And this is part of why I didn't want to bring this up earlier. In the mythology, Polydeuces was immortal, Castor was not, and Castor ended up falling. Polydeuces offered to share his immortality in order to save his brother, and that's supposedly how the Gemini constellation came to be. But this actually leads me to... Caesar. Uh, or is it 
Yeah, Caesar. My bad. Um, Caesar is a little bit different and interesting going from what I believe is Greek to Roman. Um, this is a bit... Or maybe it was Roman. I'm sorry. I'm getting these confused so badly. I, I don't mean to butcher this. Caesar is named, of course, after the Caesars of Rome. I believe, it. The, according to this one, the first one was uh, Julius Caesar. Now, it's not specific that it's supposed to be about any of the Caesar family, but it's pretty obviously supposed to be Julius Caesar, which makes it actually the first case where a persona is a real person, not just someone from a mythological story. Although those mythological stories may have roots in truth, this is one person we know for a fact is a historical figure. He holds the earth because Caesar was supposedly destined to rule the world. And, more importantly, in his chest there is a much smaller person than you can see. This is just speculation, but this is, but supposedly that sh is supposed to represent Shinjiro for Akihiko. He is, even though to most people he was a relatively small part of the story, other than perhaps for Ken, for Ken he was a big deal, but to Akihiko, that guy was his brother and his whole world. So, I just thought you guys might be interested in knowing a bit more about the history behind the personas. Either way though, that's gonna be it for me tonight. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in a couple days for me and a few seconds for you. See you then. Alright guys, I'm back now. As for usual, we're going to be sleeping earlier. Also, I should mention, this is two days later for me, so... I actually have a day off now, I don't have to worry about work in the morning. So... Should be able to record for the rest of the night and probably get a few episodes out. Oh, and there's something I do want to go over this episode that, unfortunately, I can't do right now, but I will be able to do soon enough. I want to actually go over what Akihiko's new persona does, because it is completely different from his previous ones. He still does have all the same abilities, but several other things have changed. Either way, today we are once again going to be spending time with Mamoru. I don't know why, whenever I say that though, well, I guess I do know why. Whenever I say Mamoru, it not only is it difficult to say, but it just remind me, I've actually been watching an anime called From the New World. It's interesting. I don't really want to say anything about it because it's so different. But yeah, if you have the chance to watch it, From the New World, it's really good. I think it has a dub, but I'm watching it sub personally. But yeah, it's really worth watching. Mamoru, let's spend time together. Try to get our mind off of what's been happening. And yes, we do still have Nandi. Well, why would we not have it? Yeah, we're going to be spending more time with Mamoru simply because of the fact that, well, it's exam times now, so all of our school social links are going to be busy. Alrighty then. You, I guess since you usually get it for free, you wouldn't normally ask for more. But, hey, if it helps you. Hmm. Them? Who do you mean? Wow. Four siblings, actually. That's... a lot. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Japan is not exactly known for having a lot of living space. That... <laughs> that can't be easy. Uh, in some ways, though, it, can, it sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like that. Oh. I see. Yeah, I guess it could avoid some awkward conversation. I'm sorry, I got kind of distracted because I noticed I can actually kind of read the signs in the background now. It's such a bizarre thing. I finished my first year of Japanese now, so I kind of... I'm not much of one for kanji. I haven't learned much of it. Just bits and pieces, which I have trouble remembering. But the hiragana on there, I see Umiushi, I think. It's kind of weirdly written. I'm pretty sure that's, that's Umiushi. Whatever that means. 
My vocabulary is still really weak, so don't actually expect me to explain much as far as Japanese goes. Oh, I'm guessing you have to pick them up, too. Oh, good luck! Hmm. Well, let's see what's going on at the dorm tonight. Oh, well, this is actually convenient timing. I was hoping to go to Tartar soon because I'm really low on cash. Well, that's good at least. I didn't want to go. I could have gone earlier, but I'd rather have waited until the way was open. You look half dead. What are you doing here? When Mom died protecting me, no one would believe the real reason for her death. To this day, it's still on file as an unexplained accident. That's why I wanted to make it clear. I thought that's what she would have wanted. Maybe then she'd finally be at peace. They said he died by some violent crime, right? No one knows the truth. Just like with Mom. And once again, I'll be left behind. The dead are never coming back. You have to accept that. You're on your own now. <sighs> I'm not here to drag you back. You can stay in this place until you die, if that's what you want. But if you still have the will to fight, then come back and stand on your own two feet. He's right. I've known it all along. I've just been lying to myself. I was consumed by hatred. I couldn't face the thought of being alone. But that's exactly what happened. All this time, I've just been running away. Son, I'll see it through to the end. And I'd like to take this time real quick to explain the difference in personas here. Nemesis is the Greek goddess of revenge, or perhaps she's Roman, I'm not too sure. I believe she's Greek, though. As for why that was Ken's persona, it speaks for itself. But Kala Nemi is one of the Zodiac, and one encompassing basically all things, and being the representative of fate, if I recall. And with Ken finally choosing to face his fate, it makes sense that Kala Nemi is the one that comes and takes the place of Nemesis. I'll be okay now, Mom. Goodbye. It's already been a day. Yes, it has. So, uh, where's Akihiko-san? He said to leave Cancun alone, but I don't know. Maybe we should look for him. What's your opinion? Honestly, I wouldn't have been sure what to do. I can't wait any longer. I'm going right now to... <laughs> Cancun! Thank goodness. I was so worried. You were? Amada, are you able to fight? Yes. I, I won't run off again. Are you sure? I'm positive. It's alright. We can trust him. 
Jeez, don't make us worry like that, okay? All right, I'll talk to the chairman. Get some rest. Well, it's good to have Ken back. And I believe we can go to Tartarus tonight, although I'm not planning on it. I would like to find where Fuka is, though, so I can go over the new personas. So yeah, with that, two of our party members have reached their ultimate personas. And really... I- sorry, I, I don't mean to spoil anything with that, but... people other than... Uh, our character, everyone in this game only has two personas that they can possibly achieve. Not all of them even change, either. Okay, so we can't go today, and I want- I just want to check everyone's status is all, but... If that can't be done, it can't be done. I'll go over it after school tomorrow. Why did I walk all the way back down just to go to the book and say I was going to go upstairs? Oh well, not my best logic. I guess I've just gotten used to using the book instead of the door. When I first played this game, I actually never used that book. And I made a point of saying, okay, I'm going to use it every time I need to go to my room uh, while I'm doing this Let's Play. Hmm, I wonder who this could be. It occurs me Akihiko didn't actually come home last night. Hello! Hey. It's cold tonight. Yeah, I guess it is reaching the... Summer's over, we're getting into fall. Can you believe it's already autumn? It'll be winter before you know it. Yeah, tell me about it. You seem tired. Did something happen? Yeah, you could say that. I thought you were always watching. Yeah, I... Lost a friend. Is that so? In this world, people die every day. Until recently, this was the same to me as the blowing of the wind. But now I see things differently. For the first time... I have a friend. Lately, I've become more certain of something. And what's that? You know the end I've spoken of? Some people refer to it as the fall. But regardless... The fall? It's drawing near. Don't you sense it? it? I can tell things are definitely coming to an end soon. We are kindred spirits, you and I. So why is it that only I can remember? Hmm? Remember what? This is a heart-rending matter. Is my existence something you are unable to accept? Forgive me if I have said anything peculiar today. Perhaps it is the change of seasons. Of course, our friendship remains steadfast. That it does. Well... I shall bid you farewell for now. Good night. Night. Somehow I've gotten used to this bizarre situation that I'm in. And I believe that's going to be... Is it rank 9? I know it's pretty close. Level 8. But since it goes up by 2 every time, there's not much left. In fact, our time talking to Pharos is almost over. As is really everything. There's only one shadow left. <sighs> well, back to school then. And we're almost, it's almost time for tests again. Yep, next Tuesday. Sine, cosine, tangent. Don't remind me that, in my mind, that isn't math. Those are vocabulary words. What? Megido, Megidola, Megidola on. That's... Those are... What, that, 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 wait, uh, I'm sorry. Back up a minute. Um, Those are spells that Personas can use. Does that mean something I didn't know it did? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm kind of stuck on that. What? Uh, what? Those are the ones that... um They hit everyone in... With... um What's it called? I was going to try to say true damage, I play a lot of League of Legends, but um, it's not true damage, it's almighty damage in this game. But yep, yeah. unfortunately exams start on Tuesday. I'm not going to get into there this episode, but next episode, sure.
Ah. Ok. Red. I'm pretty sure it's to excite the audience. Mm -hmm. Because bowls actually do not react differently based on whether the cape is red or blue or white or whatever. They actually are just reacting to the movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. I remember there's a study recently about how people react to different color colors in a gaming sense. In games that require a lot more thinking, people tend to do better when they are surrounded by blue colors. Meanwhile, colors when they're surrounded by red, more aggressive games, they tend to do better. Of course, this is hard to measure due to like the difference in skill, etc. Also, today we're going to be spending some time with someone a bit different. We haven't spent time with them in quite some time. So, I'll go ahead and head there and let you guys figure out how on the way. But yeah, um... There's something similar to that. When you're playing against someone, like in, say, sports, especially things like wrestling, there is a sort of differentiation. Like, I... And usually when people are in wrestling, and I'm not talking, like, professional wrestling or anything like that, I'm talking, like, high school stuff, one of them will wear red and one of them will wear, will wear blue. But the person wearing red wins significantly more games than the person wearing blue. It's just an interesting little thing. And hi, Maiko, it's been a long time. Yep, we have Orthrus, the two-headed dog that Hercules slayed. I think that's what Orthrus is. I remember looking that one up because um, a friend of mine runs a little... I don't even know how... Technically, it's friends. They run a sort of League of Legends... Uh, how do you even describe it? They have an alternate account where they both get together, sit on the same computer, one of them uses the mouse, the other one uses the keyboard. It's... And it's called One-Headed Orthrus. It's... They're terrible at it, but it's kind of funny. Also, I've been trying to convince them they should play the character Kindred, because it'd be too fitting. If you guys play League of Legends, you'll understand. Either way, um... We just had... We only were able to spend time with Maiko today, and unfortunately, I think that's it. Oh! Of course, we need to talk to Fuka and see what she has to say about... Uh... Ken and Akihiko now. Everyone's okay today, but I'd like to know details, please. Uh, you have not changed, Yukari. I guess it's not changed. Mitsuru's still the same. Junpei's still the same. There we go. Akihiko. His new persona, uh, Caesar. As you can see, he actually is null to electricity now. He's still weak to ice. That hasn't changed. And I believe he'll still get the same attacks regardless. But that's still a significant difference. And I believe he also does get, um... His stats are actually higher than they were before, but I'm not sure by how much. Basically, he has a percentage growth increase. Oh, I did not mean to hit back. Uh, still need to check on Ken. Uh, please tell me. Okay, Ken. Not... I still find it funny that we get all kinds of stats for Fuka, like bare hand, turtleneck. Even though you can't change those, it's just interesting that I put stats like that. So, let's go ahead and check on Ken. He is now null to darkness and weak to light. So, again, slight difference. And his attacks really aren't that different. He's still the Justice Arcana, though, so that hasn't changed. So, um, no, we're not going to go to Tartarus tonight. Soon enough, though, soon enough. So, let's go ahead back to our room. I think I'm going to go through one more day, because I had a little bit of time in this episode, and I've got about 20 minutes on recording right now. A little bit off from that, because, you know... I do a little bit of stuff on record before you guys actually... Before I... I basically do things that I edit out, if that makes any sense. Of course it makes sense. Why would it not make sense? I say if that makes any sense way too often. I say a lot of things way too often. Either way, though, uh, yep, directly to after school, nothing special today. But today, we are actually going to spend time with Maiko, and not just spend time, we are actually going to, you know, do stuff with Maiko. I do kind of look forward to these times when uh, we are in tests, just because we don't spend time with just our school social links. Because when they're not available, we spent time with the elderly couple, we spent time with Maiko, and now we also can spend time with Mamoru. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead. Bye, what? Wait, sorry, what? 
Um. Right. Wait. Sorry, I, I thought we were past this for some reason. I guess not. Uh, good luck, Maiko. Um. Well. Well, that was fast. Something tells me these might be her parents. Guess her mother's not too happy about that. Hey, I haven't I've probably been taking better care of her than you have, honestly. I figured that out. She was hanging out here pretty much until two seconds ago. I can't approve of her running away, honestly. She's not going to do well on her own. So, just... let's just find her. She wouldn't be at the music store, she'd be at the takoyaki stand. Yep. It's her favorite food, that's the best lead we have. And it's also right next to Wild Duck Burger, which she also loves going to. So it's probably our best bet. Yeah, I'm with her dad on this one. Probably the most sensible thing I've heard today. Actually talk to her about instead of just saying, oh, it's something you wouldn't understand. That's the... Dumbest thing parents can say to their kids. I'm sorry, Michael, but you needed this. things can work out for her, but honestly, I'm not sure. Well, what's done is done. Best if she probably just goes home with them. Yeah, I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, hey! Hey! No kidding. Yeah, we have exams during the last month. I told you, every month there's something for about a week that just takes away your time, so you really only have three weeks of prep time. Which isn't to say that's not a lot, but still. Of course I have! I'm... Nah, I'm just... I'm just gonna genius my way through it. Well, I stopped studying like, was it, almost two months ago now? Either way, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. It's a good spot, and I'd like to go to Tartarus in the next episode, so I'll probably end up meeting you guys there. Either way, though, thank you guys very much for watching. 
I'll see you guys next time we continue this game of Persona 3 FES. See you then!